Okay, update on the uh, dude getting beat up by cops. They are trying. They are children on a playground, man. They're trying everything to make this dude look bad. Now shown footage from Alma, Arkansas, when he argued with a clerk, like it matters. Here's that clip. new video we have today was taken before the encounter at an Alma gas station. KNWA's Macy Davis is live in Fort Smith and has that footage. She breaks it down for us tonight. Macy. Chad, that's right. This video that I'm about to show you is of 27-year-old Randall Worster when he was at an Alma gas station on Sunday. Now, we're going to show you two clips. One was taken before and one was taken after his arrest in Mulberry. Take a look. This first clip is time-stamped around 10 a.m. Sunday, August 21st at an Alma gas station. According to the Crawford County Sheriff's Office, the clerk who contacted police claimed he spat at her and made threats against her. In this video, as Worcester comes into frame, he motions towards the clerk as if he's spitting, but it's unclear whether or not he did. He then seems to get in a brief dispute with the clerk before riding away on his bike. The second clip from the Alma gas station is time stamped around 1150 that Sunday morning. You can see law enforcement officials and a Crawford County Sheriff's Department vehicle outside the store. They appear to be talking with the clerk who was involved in the initial incident with Worcester. This was taken after Worcester's arrest that according to state police happened yeah. around 10... The sheriff of Crawford County has spoken up on behalf of the officers as he backs them up in their, in their efforts. Um, but check out what happened. So they show a video from this guy from earlier in the day, 11 miles before he got beat, uh, arguing with a clerk. They show this like it gosh damn matters. Okay, he argued with a clerk. Does that, does that, does that equal getting your head stomped in by three cops? Hey, Crawford County. Legit question. Then they claim that he pulled a, uh, possible pocket knife. Possible. It's possibly a pocket knife. It's possibly a Baranosaurus. Or a penis-shaped kazoo. I mean, who knows? Look at this grainy video. I don't know how good the cop's eyes are. Maybe mine are bad. But what do you see? No one knows. I can't tell you it was or wasn't. But I know this. For them to be grabbing at anything to try to... Please, people, please. Help us justify beating, kicking this man's head in. It didn't look like a box knife to me, but it could be. I don't know. And then they're like, the sheriff comes forward and goes, well, well, you guys didn't see is this dude ran and tackled a cop and, uh, and knocked the cop's head on the ground and, uh, was possibly armed with a box knife. Guess what, bro? Still does not equal smashing head on concrete. Like, are you that fucking bent? You can't see that? They're trying to bring up this dude's criminal history like it's relevant. Like, you know what? When he was in third grade, he pooped his pants right there in class. Gosh, damn, bro. Let's talk about what happened four days ago when the cops brutally beat this man. Okay? Let's not talk about his criminal history. It, obviously, I know uh, I'm living proof. Uh, criminal history is uh, sometimes not even real. You know what I mean? <laughs> because cops like you, Sheriff, and your team. Uh, so... Let's call it like we see it. Answer the questions. Why'd you guys do that? Don't matter what what he threatens somebody, you still ain't got the right to smash his head on the ground and three men jump on him. So what? He ran. Don't have the right. So what? He might have had a box knife in his pants. Maybe. No one knows. Doesn't matter. Your police are training jujitsu. Well, jujitsu them. I feel like they're just using any excuse they can. The sheriff's trying to stand by him because he don't want to look stupid. But he's going to look stupid because camera don't lie, man. Look at the video. Nothing that guy could have done. I mean, even if he killed somebody and robbed a bank, still doesn't deserve to have his head smashed into the ground like that by three grown men kicking and punching him repeatedly. And if your cops are so on the up and up with this, why the first thing they tell was the girls to turn the camera off? Hmm? Oh. Answer that for me, Sheriff. I, I got questions and I need help. So everyone in Arkansas knows what these people are about what these police are about, what they do, their tactics, how they are. But finally, the world's going to see. And it's not us exposing you. You're exposing yourself.